Hey friends, here in Southern Ohio, we are preparing for the emergence of the 17 year cicada. It could be any day now. We got slowed down a little bit by cool spring, so we're not exactly sure when the ground's gonna warm up enough to have them come out, but probably sometime this week. If you're like me and you don't love bugs, we thought it might be a great time to give you some survival tips for the next six weeks. First tip is don't freak out. You got this. Just think of some ways that you can cope for the next six weeks. You can't hide in a hole, so you have to prepare yourself for the world around you. Wear a hat. Everybody has different comfort levels with bugs. And normally I wouldn't suggest this for other bugs, but cicadas are pretty stupid and they just are looking for a place to land sometimes. So I like something that I can pull my hair back, get it away from my neck, tuck it under my hat, and it keeps, makes it harder for a cicada to get tangled up in my hair, which the idea of that freaks me out a lot. You may wanna consider a pair of gloves. This way, if a cicada does land on you, you can flake it off and never have to touch it. If you want something cute, you could get a vintage pair of gloves like these, or you can use your winter gloves, or you can get the granddaddy of all gloves, the leather gardening glove. Nothing's gonna be felt through these. Practice deep breathing. This does two things. One, it gives you something to focus on besides the cicada apocalypse that's happening around you. Also helps you control your panic reaction. If you're breathing deeply, it's really hard to panic. We can't stay in our house for six weeks, so you are gonna have to leave your home. Think about where you wanna park your car. Cicadas spend a lot of time in trees, so it might not be a great place to park your car if you have to park on the street. Wide open places like parking lots may be a little better. Also, if you have a home with a garage, it's a great time to keep it cleared out, pull your car in, then lower the garage door and get out of the car. You can get in and out this way without having to get near the cicadas. Some good news about cicadas is that they're only active in the daytime. So if you're a real early morning person, you can try and get out before they wake up, or you can schedule errands and activities for in the evening. If you're like me, you probably will be spending some extra time inside, and that's okay. Just set yourself up for success with lots of fun things to do. I'm kind of a homebody anyway, so I love to read. I have some books I've been saving. I have some puzzles that I've gotten and not had a chance to work on yet. I have some indoor projects that I've been doing. I've been trying to really get all my outdoor things done. Above all, I want you to remember this is only gonna be six weeks. In six weeks, it's all gonna be done with. So take a deep breath, say a prayer, you got this. 